The Kumuls have never beaten the Wales Dragons in a World Cup. Both teams last met in 2007. The Wales embarrassed the Kumuls in a 50-10 scoreline defeat. They started building this year's Kumuls World Cup team two years ago, with most of the SPPNG Hunters players being named in the squad. With the Hunters taking part in the Interest Super Cup, winning this year's Premiership, and with many PNG players playing rugby league in higher levels in England and Australia, this has helped boost the team's performance. As soon as we came into the stadium, we, we sort of looked around and see the people there in traditional colours, and you know, just just something uh, so special. You know, uh, we boys are really looking forward to that game there. So I think we got a, a good team again this year. Uh, we built this team up over the past two years, so you know, uh, getting to a World Cup uh, uh, played. Playing three pool matches at home is also another huge advantage for PNG in the World Cup. Yesterday's match at the Oil Search National Football Stadium saw over 14,000 spectators cheer on the Kumuls from the start of the match to the final hooter. The rugby league praised fans was what got the Kumuls over the line. The Kumuls would be hoping to get past the pool stages after playing Ireland on the 5th of November, the USA on the 12th. All matches will be played at the Oil Search National Football Stadium. Elijah Levet, National MTV News.